down 19 and then. <laughs> no. I mean, you know, it was the same story like in the past. Um, they miss, uh, they miss shots, and they get a second point, uh, second chance point. They, they get a rebound, and it was easy, easy basket. And we didn't play together. Uh, we open, we, we missed some open shots. Uh, we didn't uh, communicate in, in defense, and they break us down. Uh, but then on the third quarter, we come back strong. Um, we're more focused, more aggressive in defense, and uh, hit some open shots. JD and Shannon and. Uh, and, uh, and then, uh, was there anything said at halftime for that second half of the third quarter? The words of wisdom from Alvin or anything like that? I mean, he was mad, you know. I mean, um, he told us that we we're not gonna change nothing in defense in the offense because we didn't play so far. So if if he would play hard, probably we would be up. And um, you know, his um, his speech was just we have to come out and play hard as possible. And, uh, why do you think you've been able to turn around so many deficits like that this year? I don't know. I mean, we play we play pretty good defense um, in those periods when, when we're down 15 and when we're trying to come back and uh, you know every, everybody on the same page. And after that we run, um, score some easy baskets or JD is open for three or some other guys. And I don't know why, but um, I think so. That's a good stuff. Yeah. I mean, of course. We shouldn't be down by 15 in the fan, but that's the way it was. What did you guys do well against Cousins? He had some big games last year. Tonight you really bottled him up. You know, um, at the beginning of the game we said we're going to double team him and um, you know, force him to, to, to pass outside. And um, you know, he didn't pass outside. He's, he, he was trying to finish on his own. And um, you know, we were, uh, we were good defensive. Three wins in a row. Do you feel things starting to click a little bit right now? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean everybody knows what they have to do, and uh, you know we are at the right spots. Um, you know, I would say 80 percent in our offense and defense, and, um, and every everything is much easier for us. What was the difference in the second half? You guys' energy level, or and, just making yeah, shots? Energy or? level. We are communicating in defense, and we are just solid in defense. And of course, uh, rebounding. Um, they didn't have, have a lot of second chance points in the third and fourth quarter. There was a game for you where statistically you probably didn't have one of your better games, but yet the team ended up this is maybe one of the first wins where you haven't had a really good game. Just, just talk about everybody else contributing and picking you yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, everybody was great. You know, I, I didn't shot the ball well. and. Um, you know, I, ju I just tried to put the guys at the right spot. Um, Luis was our point guard today. Uh, he got 10 assists. And, and uh, you know, Shannon and JD, they were awesome. And, uh, you know, it's uh, everybody. When everybody play hard, and then it doesn't matter if some guy had a bad game, somebody else is going to step in. So. What do you guys got to do to, to, to stop the, like the first half where you end up getting down 19? How do you, how do you come up? I mean, I think so. Tonight's game was energy wise because we didn't have energy in first two quarters. Um, everybody was, you know, were not on the same page. Um, and they were they were penetrating, scoring easy layups, and if they miss, they get a um, rebound and a score on sec second chance points. And after that, we just you know turn on the energy. We, we play more focused and um, play hard. You worried about Scola taking your job there with the ten assists? No, I mean no. <laughs> Yeah, I hope so. He's gonna play like that every game. You know? We need those assists, and uh, we need guys to knock down the shots. And today, we play a lot of a lot of pick and roll, and you know they were helping from Luis, and I passed to Luis. He was open, and he he made that um, um, pass to some open guy. And they make shots. Thanks. The difference in the two halves with the. You know, what you I think they outworked this first, you know, first half, first quarter, first half. Um, Jimmy got going, gave him a nice little boost. Um, I think we were shooting 28, 30 percent going through all the way through the second quarter. Um, and then when they were missing, they were getting offensive rebounds. So uh, we did a bad job executing the offense. And then defensively, when we did get stops, they got the offensive rebounds. So uh, we were lucky to be only down 11, going a nice little run. And then third quarter, we picked up the intensity, got stops, uh, stopped turning the ball over as much, and uh, finally hit some shots for everybody. Deficit too large for you guys this season. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for you, if you get down 35 40, I mean, I don't know, but I mean, NBA, you know, 10, 
10 to 15 points a night, big, especially early on, late fourth and something different. Um, but guys out there played hard, and, and that's, that's a team that let you back in it. Um, you obviously know they're under man, and you know, they have a similar problem as early on, trying to learn how to win. So um, anytime you can you know, make a run on them, you know, usually in teams like that, like how we were for pointing the finger at each other, not making the right play, and that's what we got them to do second half. Melvin says when you guys move the ball past two, three times, you get much better shooting percentage. First half, was it a case of bad shots or just of not going? That's a good question. I mean, that's in, that's in basketball in general, the more passes, the more penetration, usually the opener shots you get. Um, I just thought, you know, I had good looks. I mean, I just thought just the energy level, and it's tough. I mean, you're playing. You know, obviously, what's today? Monday, Tuesday? I don't even know. I don't know the days. Mondays, it's not a, it's not a good crowd out there when it comes to attendance-wise. And sometimes you can you can let that bring you down. We have to do better with that. And the more wins we get, the more fans we get. Stacking wins, how I mean, we, anytime you lose seven in a row, you got to go on the street. They get close to about seven in a row or two, five games. And obviously, I think we're at three now. And we got the Bobcats in here on Wednesday. You got to win that game. And we got to keep going. I mean, you know, you, you win three, lose one, win four. But uh, right now, we're playing the right way. Uh, we're playing that selfish. Uh, you guys are moving the ball defensively. We're talking. And anytime you have that, you're going to give yourself a chance to win every night. You're not going to win every game, but you get your fair, fair amount. You guys did a nice job against Alvin Everson last game. Yeah. And tonight against the Marcus Cousins. What was your recipe? We're just doubling. That's all we're doing now. We're just doubling and making a helter skelter game, making other people shoot it. If that's your main option, we're taking that away and making other guys do it. And today, uh, Fredette did a good job with that. And, uh, Brooks got into the lane, but for the most part, uh, when you're when the best player on our team usually kills us, that's usually when we lose. So we're trying to take that away. You guys also have a nice little lineup going. You guys are three and zero with the lineup as is. You just feel a natural chemistry there. What do you think is clicking? I think those guys are naturally unselfish players. Um, with that, and naturally, uh, you know, our team guys. So anytime you have that, you're moving the ball around, and defensively, we can do a little different. I've moved to the three now. I think it's more suitable for me defensively. Uh, you bring Scola back in, who's more who's been around the league, who gets you the charges today, the scrappy plays. And then uh, Shannon, you know, Shannon's been doing a good job all year, and Goron is, you know, obviously the face of the franchise where he can run the show and uh, but it, to be honest with you he's not just one guy one player I mean we're shooting better I'm playing better uh, Gortas rebound the ball a lot better today so um, we want a game we're supposed to win and now we got to come back on Wednesday and get a win that we're supposed to get. Does the fan attendance bother you or is it sim just as simple as you guys go out there and say well, once we start winning they'll come no, back? No it doesn't bother me I understand it I mean if I was a fan you know the games I would circle the Lakers and the Heat you want to go to big games and um, but when you lose seven in a row I mean it's, it's tough you know you know, you hear that, you get down. But for us, what we got to do, we get to bring more excitement. We got to know that, hey, we might be a young team. You might not know if you're playing on the team, but we're building and we're not just waiting for the draft or next year. We're trying to we're trying to get to the playoffs this year. And as you see, we came back with two really good teams and the team that's struggling. So Marcus had some big games against you guys last year. What would you do differently on him? I think I came ready to play. Uh, I was really focused on everything, what we were doing. And like I said before, uh, the past the past you know ten days, two weeks, I've been lifting really hard, so I, I felt really powerful and, and energetic, you know, at the same time. And uh, quite honestly, I don't think he uh, I don't think he really wanted to play today. I mean, it it just yeah. that's just how it is. I'm gonna wait for that. <laughs> um. But what was wrong with you guys earlier on to get into? Uh, I just think we uh, we just made few. Uh, I, I think we just made few uh, turnovers. You know, a few turnovers too much, and and we just didn't compete at some point for a few minutes. But it was just a little stretch in the game that you know it was obviously unnecessary. But uh, you know we came back in the third quarter. We came we came out strong in the third quarter, and we we brought it back. Obviously, we, we, we try and avoid situations like that, but, you know, it, it happens. It's just such a – you just had beaten two really good teams, and this was a bad game on a back-to-back. -back right. A couple guys that – it's kind of polar opposite of getting that big of a hole. You know, uh, you know what? We are, we are we playing at home. I mean, it doesn't matter what kind of team is going to come here. we got to win. You know, it might be in Miami Heat or San Antonio or Oklahoma. we we got to – we gotta win those games. We gotta protect the, you know, our own home, uh, home court, and and uh, you know whoever's gonna come here, we just gotta win the game. And and there was Sacramento, obviously not they, not you know one of the best teams out there, but you know we still gotta play. It's, it's not like we're playing five against four, 
it's, it's five against five guys, and every team going to win the game. Did you feel like you did early in the season, your all-around game? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I think I'm slowly coming back, um, you know, to performing, and, and uh, obviously uh, I still believe I'm going to be better. It's just going to be a process, you know, I still got to work on my game and, and try to be a bit more sharp, the shot selection, especially the last one. <laughs> You know, it's uh, obviously a necessary shot, but uh, it's it's getting better. It's getting better, and and you know, if I'm going to perform like that, then the team's going to be, you know, automatically uh, is going to be in a better position to win the game. Also, when you're anchoring the defense like this, you guys are giving up about 84, 85 over the past three games. How, how does that become sustainable? Like you're saying, you're kind of slowly coming back. Well, listen, we we competing. First of all, we competing. Uh, we have you know uh, the, the younger guys, the jetty guys playing. You know. Bigger minutes, heavy minutes, and you know, we competing. You know, I mean, we just said, you know, we, we said that, you know, we we sick of you know losing to teams all the time. And, you know, we, we lost seven or eight in a row, and and you know, we said, listen, it's time, it's, it's about time to win some games, and and I think everybody understood what we have to do, and you know, each one of us is just competing. That's it. We helping each other. We talking to each other. You know, Ralph Sampson sit, sit with us here on the day offs, and then uh, you know watch the tape with us, you know, we, we have a session with two, three players at the same time and we're just learning and, and trying to get better, that's it. Is Alvin's halftime speech, I like a lot of home, home game halftime speeches. About oh, I heard better ones, <laughs> I heard better ones, uh, that wasn't that 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 bad, I mean, he said just the way it was, well, it, it wasn't about him and, and, you know, the coverages we had, it was just about us not competing at some point and that's it. It was just about us not competing, not playing hard, giving up easy buckets, and and not fighting, not hustling, and and that's what we had to change. And like I said, we came out strong in the third quarter, and and we brought it back. Thank you.